Thank you very much, Governor. And please let me start by doing something you do just about every day, which is to thank everybody for all of the work that they're doing, the thousands of North Dakotans who are doing exactly what they are being asked to do, the things they should do, that they're joining together to help their friends, families, and neighbors. All of our first responders, our law enforcement, people in state government who are working all around the clock to help with this problem. But I'm not here to talk about them. I'm here to talk about that small slice of individuals who see this pandemic as an opportunity to make a buck. Yesterday, I issued a press release, an immediate and uh, urgent press release, because we're seeing an incredible increase in the number of uh, reports that we've been getting from citizens who are getting robocalls or personal calls claiming that they had won the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. North Dakotans have lost thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, what happens is they call, they tell them, here's your secret number, call us back, give us that number, and we will send you a check. When they do call, they are then told that there's a fee, an expense, some kind of a uh, sum of money that has to be paid in order to acquire your winnings in the magazine sweepstakes. They're all scams. And we have seen people have lost over $10,000 here in North Dakota, and it seems to be proliferating. Once you send money to these scam artists by a wire transfer, a credit card transaction, or any technology uh, transfer, we can't get it back. The only thing that we can do is help to get the message out, and I want to tell you why that is so very important. Just before I came down here, a woman called into our office. She had paid almost $9,450 to uh, a scam artist claiming that she had won the publisher's clearinghouse. She read in the newspaper the story that we put out saying that these were scams. She called just before she was ready to make the next installment of $3,000. So we can't get the money back, but by getting the word out, we can, uh, we can assure that people don't fall further victim. And that's especially true with our vulnerable citizens who are at home, maybe alone, maybe uh, not in contact with the people they might otherwise rely on. It is illegal to suggest to anybody they have to pay money to collect a prize in a sweepstakes. Plain and simple, illegal. The other uh, scam that we have seen now here in North Dakota is the grandparent scam. These scams kind of mutate, just like the flu virus, like the uh, coronavirus mutates. The grandparent scam is an age-old scam where a grandchild will call up grandma, a fake grandchild, claiming that they're at the border. They've been arrested for one offense or another. They need money for a lawyer. They need money for um, bail. They need money for one purpose or another. An alert citizen of North Dakota called our office to report that he'd gotten a call from somebody claiming to be his granddaughter who had contracted coronavirus. He did exactly what we always tell people to do. He hung up. We don't know what it was that was next to be asked for, but you can be sure that he would have been told, I'm in the hospital, I need to make payment on a medical bill, and you have to send it by, uh, by wire transfer or by credit card or by going down to the store and getting a prepaid uh, credit card. So he was alert, he was smart, he did what we said you should always do, and that's hang up on those calls. The other uh, uh, scam that is going to come here to North Dakota is sweeping the nation already, and that is for those people who are expecting, which is just about everybody, their $1,200 stimulus check or for $2,400 for the family. And these scams are claiming that you need to pay a fee, you need to submit certain information, um, in order to get your check, or they claim that they can help speed things along. And of course, each and every one of those will ask you to pay something in order to do, to do that. None of that is happening. You do not have to pay a fee. You do not have to provide information. The check that you're entitled to will be coming in due course directly from the U.S. Treasury 
deposited into your bank account or in some instances a check will be sent. You don't need to do anything. There's no intermediary, intermediaries and you certainly don't have to pay anybody in advance in order to get it. The next is something that uh, I am familiar with and that's the fake products because I've gotten at least a couple of dozen uh, spam emails claiming that they have tests, vaccines, treatments, cures of one nature or another and that I can uh, get that from these scam artists and that they and they alone have the treatment or the cure. I want to alert and assure everybody that you are not going to find out about the uh, existence of a cure when it arrives in a piece of spam that you get. You are going to find it from legitimate news sources. You know, there also are uh, uh, spam emails going out promising masks. I even got one for an oxygen concentrator, whatever that is. <clears throat> if you respond and click on a link, nothing but mischief is going to happen. And if you attempt to buy something, you will at some point have to enter your credit card number and your PIN number and your expiration date and perhaps even your mother's maiden name. And then in exchange for that, you will get an inferior product or more likely you will not get anything at all. And what you will have done is given your credit card information to somebody who can use it for purchasing whatever it is these con artists want. The cure doesn't exist. There are no lotions, potions, not, no nostrums, or snake oil that exists that you can get from spam email that you are uh, sent. Ignore it, delete it, and never, ever, ever click on a link in those pieces of spam. And then finally, I just want to touch on the issue that's been brought up uh, before, and that's the charities. In America, we're very generous people, and in North Dakota, even more so. But if you're going to give, I hope you will give generously, but you also need to give wisely because there no doubt will be all manner of scam artists coming out trying to claim that they are a legitimate charity or that they are uh, somebody who can get money directly somewhere. Don't ever respond to somebody who calls you on the telephone asking you for a uh, donation to a charity. What I do and I do this without fail, and I suggest everybody else do as well. As I tell people, I never do business with uh, donating money with anybody who calls me on the telephone. Send me something in the mail. Every legitimate charity will send you something in the mail if you ask. Accumulate what it is that you've been asked for, and then sit down with your spouse or significant other and make an intelligent decision, a wise decision, about who it is that you want to give to. Charities are suffering, and their contributions are certainly going to decline just like everybody else's. Um, and so make sure that you're giving wisely, or give directly to people that you know, that you know. It doesn't have to be through a charity. People that you know that are suffering and have difficulties, help them out. Be as generous as you possibly can, but make sure that the donations that you're giving go to places that are uh, going to actually do the kind of good that we're all talking about. You outlined one here yet today, so for those who are uh, unsure, that's a good spot to donate as well. Uh, check with the North Dakota Secretary of State, by the way, the sos.nd.gov. Every charity that solicits money is required to be registered. And so check to make sure that they are ac actually registered in North Dakota. So thank you for the opportunity to come and give this uh, information to assure people that, uh, that we're here and we're ready to work and do whatever we can to help. And I think at, uh, here, if you get a, uh, a robocall or a scam call or anything asking you to do uh, donate money, especially in the publisher's clearinghouse, please call 1-800-472-2600 and we will talk you out of it and we will save you a lot of money if it's something that you're considering donating to. So thank you, Governor. Thank you very much for having me come here. Please, it is essential that we get the word out. I told you about what happened with the lady who only because she learned in the media, we saved her several thousand dollars. Who knows how many other people we could uh, similarly assist by getting the word out.
thank you.